Welcome back to another day of the Daily Fix. I'm not going to say my name. You just saw that lower third. Anyways, we've got a list of more games coming to Xbox Game Pass this month. Ubisoft responds to everyone hating on them for the Job of the Hut DLC. And we have a bold prediction to make about Nintendo's next Indie World Showcase. Let's go. Presented by Fallout. Stream all episodes now, only on Prime Video. All right, now we're halfway through April, and that means wave two of this month's Game Pass games are dropping onto the service. Now, today is the well-reviewed indie game, Harold Halibut. Now, it's a sci-fi adventure game set in the future at the bottom of the ocean on an ocean planet. Yeah, isn't that crazy? That also features gorgeous stop-motion animation. Now, we really like this game, calling it a, quote, wholesome handcrafted adventure with plenty of heart and gave it an eight in our review. Now tomorrow, April 17th, we got Orcs Must Die 3. Now, it's a tower defense style game that originally came out in 2020. Now we also enjoyed this game saying it was quote, very familiar to players of the second game, but still a fun and goofy action tower defense challenge. EA Sports NHL 24 is coming to Game Pass Ultimate just in time for the Stanley Cup playoffs, which none of you are gonna be watching. You're gonna be playing video games, I'm assuming, you're gamers. Anyways, this latest hockey game from EA is a solid entry, but we weren't too hot on the unimproved game modes. Now we gave it a seven, still not too bad of a score. Now NHL 24 will be available April 18th for consoles only. For you JRPG fans out there, you'll be getting Euden Chronicle 100 Heroes as a day one launch title on April 23rd. Now, as the title suggests, you have over 100 heroes to choose from as you assemble a team of six to probably save the world. I don't know, I haven't played the game, and but it's a JRPG, so I'm already sold on it. I can't wait to play it. Now, speaking of day one launch titles, another crab's treasure is also launching on the service on the 25th. And it's about a crab on an adventure doing what crabs do. Crab things. I don't know, but don't let, you know, its appearance fool you. It's actually being advertised as a Souls-like, so I don't know, it might be pretty hard. Now, strategy fans out there will get Manor Lords on PC on the 26th. Now, it's a medieval strategy game featuring in-depth city building, large-scale tactical battles, and complex economic and social simulations. Now, it's currently the top wish-listed game on Steam, and you get to play it for free. We all love free stuff. If you have Game Pass Ultimate, that is. And to round out the selection, we've got Have a Nice Death. Ooh, Have a Nice Death. That title is frightening. Now, we really enjoyed this game, giving it an 8 out of 10 in our review and calling it, quote, a punishing but satisfying roguelike with some extremely tough boss fights. Gotta be checking out those games very soon on Game Pass. Moving right along, Ubisoft has responded to the backlash surrounding the Jabba the Hutt missions in Star Wars Outlaws. Now, the game's Gold and Ultimate Editions will include a season pass that has the Jabba's Gambit mission. Now, currently, the only way to play that mission is through the season pass that's an extra $40 on top of the base game. Now, many gamers were pretty annoyed that game content that's available on day one is locked behind a paywall for a full-priced game. Now, some of the confusion surrounds whether or not Jabba the Hutt Cartel are only available through the season pass, to which Ubisoft is saying it isn't. Now, Ubisoft said in a statement, Jabba is, quote, part of the experience for all players, regardless of which edition they buy. Now, speaking of IGN directly, Ubisoft clarified, saying, quote, Jabba the Hutt and the Hutt Cartel are one of the main syndicates in Star Wars Outlaws and will be part of the experience for everyone who purchases the game, regardless of edition. The Jabba's Gambit mission is an optional additional mission with the Hut Cartel along Kay and Nix's journey across the Outer Rim. This mission will be available to those who purchase the season pass or an addition of the game, which includes the season pass. So there you have it. It's not like you won't be seeing Jabba if you buy the game just for the base price of $70. But whether or not the extra mission is worth the upcharge remains to be seen. 
And finally, we have a new Nintendo showcase to look forward to tomorrow. Now, starting at 7 a.m. Pacific time, Nintendo will stream its latest indie world showcase, highlighting some upcoming independent titles coming to the Switch. Now, we don't know what will be there, but we do know that it'll be about 20 minutes long and will feature news and updates on indie games. Now, the last time we got one of these was in November last year, and games like Shantae Advance, On Your Tail, and the Switch port of Outer Wilds were announced. Now, one indie title that gamers have been clamoring for is the next Hollow Knight. A titled Silk Song, the game was announced way back in 2019, and we've only seen one trailer that was revealed in 2022, and it didn't even have a release date. A Nintendo Indie World Showcase could be the very perfect time to announce a date, or at the very least, give us a new trailer. And those are your gaming stories for today, April 16th, 2024. I'm Akeem, and if you're looking for something else to watch, please check out our review of Harold Halibut. It actually is pretty cool. Don't just check out our review, actually pick up the game. It's really freaking awesome. Anyways, I'll catch you next time.